did you honestly, did you honestly think that I could see so many lovely vintage fountain pens and only leave that antique mall with one? Did you? Well, I have to tell you, I am not that strong. I have a weakness for vintage fountain pens, the perseverance of the body, and the fantastic nibs. I couldn't resist getting more than one. Hello and welcome to Write Always Write. If you're new to my channel, thank you for giving me a watch and I hope you return. If you are returning, thank you so much for returning. Nowadays, with most fountain pens, you only get about 5 to 15 productive years at most. But if you can find a fountain pen that can give you over 50 productive years, then you have found yourself a real treasure. When I was at the Antique Mall, which I, the video right there in the corner will show you that I was showing the Waterman Stately Fountain Pen. I think it was on my last video. And this lovely darling probably rivaled the fountain pen that I'm getting ready to show you now. This is the Schaefer Touchdown Feather Touch Fountain Pen. And I saw it, it looks so subtle and has a sophisticated look to it. Hopefully you can see that. I love the clip, the simplicity of it all. It, it has a very professional type look to it, but it's just, it's not too plain and it's not too overdone there. I saw this fountain pen also, and just like my Waterman, I knew I'd found me a treasure. It's a screw cap, but what I did see was this lovely nib here. I love the two-tone gold, and it has the feather touch engraved in the nib. And you know, I, I, I've said in my videos that I am a sucker for nibs and finials. I just, if you can make it look nice for me, then you got yourself a customer. This is a number five nib. And I'm thinking feather touch probably means that you probably don't, don't have to press hard on the nib in reference to the paper, and it just glides right across the paper. But look at that nib. I just love this nib. And this is an 80-year-old darling that looks absolutely gorgeous. What I also like about this fountain pen is, like I said, it's a pneumatic fountain pen. And the difference between a pneumatic fountain pen and my Waterman, which is a lever fountain pen, is that it, you take off the blind cap here. Well, not really the blind cap per se, but you loosen the blind cap. And I think I need to wait right here. Let me get this right here. And we have also put in, in my vintage fountain pens the toffee brown from Mont Blanc because it I want to make sure that I use an ink a fountain pen ink that is very safe for vintage type fountain pens but with this type of fountain pen and the uh, filling process is kind of like a Mont Blanc or other fountain pens where it has the vacuum is that it's not the filling if you can see this it's not the filling in reference to pulling on the um, pneumatic it's reference to pushing it so basically you put the nib in the ink you lift and then the filling process comes with pushing down simple easy peasy which i absolutely love let's close this back also, something vital that I absolutely have found that I love is the Mont Blanc nib cleaner. You don't have to carry a lot of tissue around you. You just stick the baby right in there. Give it a little twist. You have yourself a lovely clean nib. Yeah, let me twist it and go a little farther in. A lovely clean nib, and you're ready to write. And when we come back, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some writing with our Schaefer Touchdown fountain pen. Okay, I hope you have a good view of that lovely nib there. 
I don't think I gave you a good view of it earlier. And I'm going to post this little darling and let's see if we can get up close here and keep the writing simple. All roads lead to Rome. And just keep it simple. And yep, that is wet. There is shade, well, line variation and shading in that, but it writes smoothly, just a touch of feedback, but no flex on that. Yes, with the fast writing, for those who want to sign something in a hurry, yes, yes. Reverse writing, it's not gonna happen with this one. It's a little scratchy, and looks like it's probably running out of ink smooth writing barely touching hence the feather touch barely touching i love it still no rain but we're all in this together okay thank you for watching writer always right i hope you like and subscribe and join me again for my next video remember take care of yourself mind and body you only have one you Feel free to leave a comment, no matter how short, no matter how long, I will respond. Bye.